Garden, he was nearly 6 feet tall. By the time of his death at age 22, he was 8 foot 10 inches tall, shoe size 37, and he showed no signs of his growth stopping there. The tallest living person today is Sultan Kosin and is 8 foot 3 inches tall. But let's come to reality here. Most of us won't ever become that tall because we simply stop growing. But why? To start off, why do we grow? There are a couple of reasons, but genetics, nutrients, and hormones all play a major role. If your parents are tall, you're likely to be as well. And if they're short, I'd say you will be too. Nutrients play a big factor as well. If you eat your vitamins and a well-balanced meal daily, you run a better chance of growing taller. But now onto the big cause, hormones. The main reason we grow is due to growth hormones found in the pituitary gland, thyroxins in the thyroid, and testosterone and estrogen in the reproductive systems. As hormones are pumped through our body, the cells at the end of growth plates on our bones rapidly multiply, increasing the size of the bone. So that's why we grow, but what halts this process and stops the growth? Well, as puberty in our body comes to a slow and ends, our reproductive glands pump out tons of estrogen. And yes, even though estrogen is commonly associated with the female reproductive system, boys have plenty of it too. The high concentration of estrogen in our bloodstream causes the growth plates to fuse, closing off access to the growth center of our bone, stopping our growth. This means that men and women that have lower estrogen levels may become taller since their growth plates will fuse later. But let's go back to Robert Waldlow. At the age of 22, he was most definitely finished with puberty, so why didn't he stop growing? Robert had hyperplasia of the pituitary gland, and if you recall, the pituitary gland sends out growth hormone. Because of his oversized gland, extreme amounts of this hormone was sent into his body, causing his abnormal growth. But think about it, the larger you are, the harder it is for your body to support itself. It has to hold up more mass, and blood has to travel farther distances, etc. Most of these abnormally tall people have to use braces and other tools to keep them upright. So if you're a smaller viewer out there, just remember that height isn't always the best thing and your body will stop your growth when it healthily seems ready to. Because for the majority of us, our growth will plateau and halt sometime in our life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see some other content by Science Saturdays, be sure to click on the pictures below. Science Saturdays, bringing free education to the modern world.